So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about combined relation. What is combined relation? It describes a relationship where a variable depends on two or more other variables, varies directly with some of them and inversely with others. So y equals kx over z. If we read this one, that is y varies directly as x and inversely as z. k, that could be the constant of variation, and then x, that is the variable that is varies directly, while z, that could be the one variable varies inversely. Let us translate into variation of equation of the following combined variation. In example number 1, b is directly proportional to the square of a and inversely proportional to the cube of c. So we have the letters b, a, and c. So the square of a, that is a square, well, the cube of c, that is c cube. So it means b equals, so direct, nasa taas, b is equal to k a squared all over, because this is inverse, all over C cube. How about number 2? C is varies jointly to the cube of A and square of B and inversely proportional to E. So we have the letter C is equal to jointly. We have the two letters for the numerator, cube of A, that is A cube, and then square of B, that is B square. So it means C is equal to k a cube b squared over this is inverse over e how about number three y varies directly as c and inversely to a so y is equal to k times c and then inversely so in the denominator over a Let us determine if the given illustrates combined variation or not. An example number one, the distance d traveled by a car to its speed r and time of travel t. Do you think this is combined variation or not? So this example is not combined variation. Okay, how about letter b? The speed s of the car to the distance d travel a time of travel t. So it means the formula for the speed of the car, that is S is equal to D over time. So this example, we have the denominator, that is time of travel. So this example is combined variation. How about letter C? The time of travel T of a car to the distance D, travel, and its speed S. So as you can see, the formula for the time of travel T is equal to D over time. So this consider also as combined variation. Let us solve problem number one. A varies directly as B and inversely as C. So the formula A is equal to K times B over C. So we have the value if A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 4 and C is equal to 2. We need to identify the constant of variation. So let us replace the given 10, 4, and 2. So it means 10 is equal to K times the value of B, that is 4, divided by the value of C, that is equal to 2. Afterwards, bring down 10 and then 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 2K. And then let us divide both sides with positive 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 divided by 2 is 1k. So it means 5 is equal to k or k that is equal to 5. Let us continue to solve. Let us find a if b is equal to 15 and c is equal to 25. And we have the value of k that is equal to 5. So bring down a, k that is equal to 5 b that is equal to 15 and then c 
that is equal to 25. Afterwards, uh, let us uh, multiply 5 times 15, that is 75, and then bring down 25. 75 divided by 25, that is equal to 3. So the value of A, that is equal to 3. D varies jointly as R and S and inversely as D. So it means D it is equal to K times R times S. And then in the denominator, this is inversely, so over D. So if D is equal to 12, R is equal to 3, S is equal to 20, and T equals 5. Let us replace all the given. So D, that is 12. K is unknown. R is 3. S, that is 20, over T, that is equal to 5. So let us multiply both sides with 5, so that becomes 60, and then cancel here. 3 times 20, that is equal to 60K. If we divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of K, so that becomes 60. So 60 divided by 60 is 1 equals K, or K, that is equal to 1. So find D when r is equal to 15, s is equal to 4, and t equals 8. So d is a known, k, replace it with 1, r, that is 15, s, 4, and then the denominator, 8. 15 times 4, let us multiply, times 1, 1 times 15 times 4, that is equal to 60 over 8. So let us get the lowest term of 60 over 8, that becomes 15 over 2. How to get 15 over 2? 60 divided by 4, that is 15. 8 divided by 4, that is equal to 2. In example number 3, y is directly proportional to x and inversely proportional to z. So y equals k times x over z. So it means when y equals 2 over 5, x is equal to 1 over 3, and z equals 1 over 5. So let us solve for the constant of variation. y, 2 over 5, k, bring down, x, that is 1 over 3, z, that is equal to 1 over 5. First, we need to solve this one. So bring down 2 over 5, and then copy the numerator. And then get the reciprocal of the denominator that is equal to 1 over 5, reciprocal is 5 over 1. So let us continue to solve. So that becomes 2 over 5, that is equal to 5 times 1, that is 5k, 3 times 1, that is 3. So 5k over 3. Afterwards, let us multiply both sides with the numerical coefficient of k, that is 5 over 3, become 3 over 5, that is the reciprocal. So, cancel 5, cancel 3. So, k na lang matitira on the right side. How about this one? 3 times 2, that is equal to 6. 5 times 5, that is equal to 25. So, it means this one, 6, and then the denominator, that is 25. So, that is the value of k. Or, k is equal to 6 over 25, or 6 over 25, that is equal to so let us continue to solve. What is the value of y when x is equal to 1 half and z is equal to 1 over 4? So bring down y, the value of k that is 6 over 25, x that is 1 half, z that is equal to 1 over 4. So continue to solve. Let us copy y, copy the numerator 6 over 25 and then 1 half. Let us get the reciprocal of 1 over 4, that becomes 4 over 1. So let us get the lowest term, or let us divide 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 2 over 1, or 2 only. And then let us multiply, 6 times 1 is 6, times 2, that is equal to 12. 25 times 1, that is 25. So the value of y is equal to 12 over 25. How about number 4? M varies jointly as N and P, while inversely as W. So it means M is equal to K times N times P, and then inversely in the denominator over W. M is equal to 4, N is equal to 2 thirds, 
P is equal to 8 over 3 and W equals 9 over 2. So let us replace M, that is 4. K is unknown. N, that is 2 over 3. P, that is 8 over 3. And then W, that is equal to 9 over 2. So it means let us bring down 4 and then copy the numerator K, 2 third, and then 8 over 3. While get the reciprocal of 9 over 2, that is equal to 2 over 9. So let us see kung may mahahansi. So kung wala, let us continue to solve. So 2 times 8 is 16 times 2, that is equal to 32K. 3 times 3 is 9 times 9, that is equal to 80. 1. So let us solve for the value of k. So get the reciprocal of 32 over 81 that is equal to 81 over 32. So 81 over 32 on the left side, same with the right side. So afterwards, 4 over 32, the lowest term is 1 over 8. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 32 divided by 4 that is equal to 8. While on the right side, cancel. So, cancel 32, cancel 81. So, 81 over 8, that could be the value of K. 81 times 1 is 81, and then copy the denominator 8. What is M when N is equal to 3 over 4, P is equal to 2 over 5, and W equals 2? So, M is a known, K is 81 over 8, N that is equal to 3 over 4, P, that is 2 over 5, and then over 2. So that could be the value of W. So let us continue to solve. So copy M, and then 81 over 8, 3 over 4, and 2 over 5. Let us copy the numerator, and then get the reciprocal of the denominator, that is 1 over 2. So let us see kung alin yung pwedeng i-cancel. So, pwede natin i-cancel, that is 2. 2 divided by 2, that is equal to 1. So, tingnan pa natin kung meron pang pwedeng i-cancel. So, kung wala na, let us continue to solve. 81 times 3 times 1, that is 243. 8 times 4 is 32 times 5, that is equal to 160. So, the value of M is equal to 243 over 160. Let us solve problem number 5. The current I varies directly as the electromotive force E and inversely as the resistance R. So the formula I it is equal to K times E, so inversely in the denominator over R. If a current of 30 amperes flows through a system with OHMS resistance of 16 and electromotive force of 120 volts, so let us replace the current that is 30 amperes, we have no value of K, and then electromotive force that is 120 volts and then the resistance that is equal to 16. So 30 times 16 is equal to 480 and then bring down 120k. So let us solve, let us divide both sides with 120. So 480 divided by 120 that is 4 is equal to k or k that is equal to 4. So let us continue to solve. Find the current that a 200 volts with electromotive force will send through the system. So we need to identify the current. So bring down I, K that is equal to 4. The electromotive force that is 200 volts, so multiply it with 200 and then divide with the resistance of the system that is 16. So over 16. 4 times 200 is 800, copy 16. If we divide 800 by 16, the answer for the current, that is equal to 50 amperes. Instruction. Solve the problems involving combined variation. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.